Well, it is National Coffee Day. And even if you're a tea drinker like myself, you need to pull up a cup of coffee today. If you've ever wondered how baristas make those beautiful works of art, those foam art uh, on lattes, well, you're about to find out. We've got master latte artist Michael Breach. He has partnered with the American Dairy Association Northeast to show us the secret behind making those beautiful and great tasting lattes. How are you? Hey, great. How are you doing, Elsa? I'm doing well. So what are the most important tools needed to make great lattes? So, you know, it starts with a really good espresso. You know, if it doesn't taste good on its own, then, you know, that's just going to be a bad base for your drink. But <laughs> most importantly, I mean, 80% of your drinks are going to be the milk that you use. And I like to use whole milk, natural whole milk. It's the best for latte art. Um, it's you know, it's the, the milk that was originally used to create latte art and cappuccinos. Yeah. You know, and I'm a big, even when I drink tea, I will add milk to my tea. I drink it like the Brits do. Um, it just, it feels good, especially going into the fall. You want it to be all cozy, but you know what? You make it look good too. My tea, my coffees, they just, they feel good, but they don't look as pretty. And I have heard that whole milk is making a comeback. Why do you recommend it? Is it just that you can make the art better or is it really like the way I feel that it just tastes a little better in your, in your drink? <laughs> I mean, well, like, first of all, I'm thrilled that it's making a comeback. There's going to be a lot of happy baristas out there. Um, <laughs> it's the most fun to work with. All right. So, I mean, it's, it's, there's nothing really that stretches like it does. And when you steam it, the like sugars in the milk actually caramelize and it gets a little bit sweet. I don't know if you've noticed yes. that with, with yeah. milk compared to other types of milks. And, you know, you don't even need to add sugar a lot of times to your lattes. That is true. That's a one-stop shopping with the milk there. Okay, so you've created some personalized latte art for us to look at this morning. Um, so let's take a look at that. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how much that actually looks like. You even got the cheeks there. <laughs> oh, thank you. You are really, really talented. So I am not a barista. I cannot do that. I wish I could, but is there something that will um, make me feel just as good if I attempt? Oh, totally. So um, there are a lot of like really cool designs that you can do at home, stuff that's really easy. You don't really need to be like, super precise to do them. And I can do a little demonstration for you right now. All right. So we're gonna start with our espresso base. Okay. And I have some foamed milk here that I steamed using my machine over here. Perfect. Um, and I'm just gonna start pouring this in here. And you don't need to pour it in so it, you know, when you see videos of them pouring it in and the heart just automatically appears. Yes. It doesn't need to be like that. You can okay. just kind of pour it in and have it just be the, the coffee color that it is. Okay. And as long as you have some foam on the side left over, it'll work for you. So you basically just take a spoon and you scoop it down here. Okay. And just add some circles. Now I like to do circles in a circle. So far and, so good. So far I feel yeah. like I can do this. <laughs> yeah, it's like pretty simple so far, pretty straightforward. And pretty much like this. And now what I'm going to do is I have this sort of little tool here. Now you can use the end of a thermometer. This is just what came with my steam pitcher. Okay. And I'm just going to pull it through. And, and so these what circles are we going to making? Now I'm curious. Oh, wow. That is pretty. Thank you. Oh, very nice. And I feel like something we can all do. <laughs> right. Totally. It's, it's super accessible. And it's funny when I first, first was learning like regular latte art designs, I always wondered how do they get the hearts in a circle? Like yes. Oh, that's, no, that's, that's how we do it. It looks way more difficult than it is. So I appreciate that trick. And I'm also going to lie to my guests and tell them that I slaved over it, that it just took forever. <laughs> 
do it. So thank you for helping me, you know, trick them a little bit. We appreciate that. Thanks for joining us today, Michael. And also thanks to our friends at the American Dairy Association Northeast as well. If you want to create your own Instagram worthy latte art, like you saw here, that also tastes good. You want to check out AmericanDairy.com slash coffee day. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.